disposal of re-evaluated asset non-current asset the profit or loss on disposal of revalued non-current assets should be calculated as difference between the net sale proceed and carrying amount so suppose carrying amount after depreciation is 2 lakh and the sale price is 2 lakh 50000 so the net difference net difference is how much 50000 this 50000 we have to calculate and we have to transfer this 50000 in profit and loss statement statement of profit and loss so there are two step to disposing the revalued asset it should be accounted for in the statement of profit and loss of the period in which disposal occur so we have to transfer this one next is if any balance on the revaluation surplus related to this asset would now be transferred to the retained only now suppose if you have any balance earlier suppose you have 20000 balance in revalued uh, surplus then that will also transfer in statement of profit and loss account statement of profit and loss so total transfer in profit and loss is 50000 plus 20000 70000 note that it does not affect the company other comprehensive income which is only altered when the asset is actually reevaluated upward or downward deepak purchased a property costing 75000 dollar 7 750000 on 1st january 2004 with a useful life of 10 year it has no residual value <coughs> at 31st december 2004 same year the property was revalued 810000 dollar resulting in a gain on revaluation being recorded other comprehensive income 135000 dollar this is the gain there was no charge to its useful life deepak does not make a transfer of realized profit in respect of excess depreciation on revaluated asset on 31st december 2006 so purchased on 2004 revaluated on the same year december now 2006 the property was sold on 9000 900000 dollar we have to calculate the amount that will be transferred to the profit and loss account so how should disposal of on the previously revalued asset is treated in financial statement now let's calculate first you have to calculate the value of asset on this date 2016 value of asset is Uh, on 31st December, it is on December 8, 810,000 dollar is the value on 31st December 2004. So 2005, and the life is 10 year on 1st January 2004. So life will be 9 year. so divided by 9 is equal to 9000 so this is the depreciation so depreciation on 2005 depreciation we have to calculate on to the two year depreciation so 90000 plus 90000 this is the two year depreciation that we have to deduct from the value that is 810000 not have a space 810000 
सो वन एट जीरो ट्रिपल जीरो द अमाउंट विल बी ट्रिपल जीरो जीरो थ्री सिक्स दिस इज द अमाउंट मई इफ माई कैलकुलेसन इज रॉन्ग यू प्लीज करेक्ट द कैलकुलेसन सो द अमाउंट ऑफ द वैल्यू ऑफ डिप्रिस एसेट इज सिक्सटी थ्री सिक्स हंड्रेड थर्टी थाउजेंड डॉलर एंड इट इज सोल्ड ऑन नाइन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड डॉलर सो द वैल्यू प्रोफिट इज Two hundred seventy thousand dollar. That is the profit that we have to transfer in profit and loss. And uh, earlier we have other comprehensive income value in other company one lakh thirty five one thirty five thousand. That is in other comprehensive. That is also that will also transfer in profit and loss.